Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at classes. Now classes are a way to take um, subs and functions and to encapsulate them inside of what's called an object so that you can better organize your code and it promotes reuse of code so that it's easier and it um, doesn't take you as long to write the same thing over and over again. So let's go ahead and create a new project. We'll just go ahead and select Windows Forms application and we will call it Person. Now go ahead and click OK and wait for that to load. So before we, in, before we add any controls to our Form 1, let's come over here to our Solution Explorer. We'll click on Person and then we'll right click it, click Add, and then we're going to add a new item. Now I'll shrink this down some. Now go ahead and select a class right here and we're going to name our class person. Okay, so now that person has loaded, let's go ahead and add some stuff to this. So we will add a couple uh, variables. So let's use the keyword public so that we can see those in our form1.vb class. So we'll do public weight as double and we'll just go ahead and set that equal to let's say uh, 8 pounds so if the person was just born. So let's do public um, money as double and we'll just let him start off with $100 and then we'll go ahead and um, let's leave it at that. Okay, so now let's create some um, functions and methods that we can use. So we'll type public sub and then we will just type um, eat. And let's say we'll, we'll uh, have them pass how many pounds of food they want them to eat. So we'll type bival pounds as integer or let's just do a double and we will type weight plus equals and then we'll do pounds and now we will do public sub exercise and we will bival the time so bival time as double and so whenever the exercise will do weight minus equals we'll just do like time so let's say they work out one hour uh, we'll just do divided by ten now I didn't do, do much thinking on the calculations for this I'm just doing it for the sake of the tutorial so then we'll do public sub work and then we will buy val um, hours as double and now what we're going to do is let's come up here and give them an income. So public income as double. And let's just pay them minimum wage to start off with. So now what we're going to do is we're going to type um, money plus equals hours times income. So however many hours they work, it's going to multiply that by their income and, and add it to money. Now, when we create our person class, we have these public variables up here, but we don't really want the um, other classes to be able to directly access those variables. So let's just go ahead and make those private. So we'll do private money and private weight. So now uh, no other class can see these variables. And now let's make some functions that will let other classes get these variables, but it won't let them change it. So we'll just we'll just type public sub get uh, weight, and since this is going to return a value, we need to make it a function. So a public function get weight as double, and we're just going to return the weight. So return weight. And we will do this for each one of our variables. So we'll do money and income. 
So public function get money as double and we will just return money and we'll do this one more time for the income so public function get income as double and we will just return the income okay so now let's make a sub that will allow you to increase their income so we'll go ahead and type public sub increase income and we'll have them buy val amount as double and so whatever amount they pass to this sub we're going to go ahead and type income plus equals amount okay so now that we've created our class um, if you don't have this code already typed in, um, go ahead and do that. I will scroll through this. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, let me zoom in real quick. Okay, so if you need to look at this, pause any time in here. So we just made a couple simple subs and functions, and we have um, some private variables that we're going to be using. So now that we've created our class, we need to be able to use our class. So um, stay tuned for the next tutorial, and we're going to be talking about that uh, during that one. So thanks for watching.